A redditor named Bunny Toes posted a really bizarre video on the Chills Narrator subreddit that's worth further analysis. She says she was deleting random videos taken by her young grandkids when she came across this strange moment in her old house, which she has since moved directly because of what you're about to see. Her grandchild innocently passes over a shadow figure standing at the foot of her bed. Bunny Toast says this happened a day before her mother-in-law's birthday, who used to live with them for six years and recently passed. She has no doubt that this is her mother-in-law visiting her from the other side. This could be a real ghost sighting, but you do see Bunny Toes at the beginning of this video, so it might have been her walking away. I guess I'm willing to believe her, because most people would recognize themselves on camera, and the uploader is adamant that the shadow figure in the video is simply not her. This miniature forest figure has viewers puzzled. Posted on TikTok by Satpam Horror, a small Barbie-sized creature was captured walking at the edge of the forest. Watch closely. The figure looks just like a human in miniature. What is it though? I'm not sure what this humanoid creature could be, but its movements do not look animated, and it seems to blend well with the setting. Any ideas? Leave them in the comment. A YouTuber named Sunny Cooper has recorded a shadow moving back and forth that looks out of place. Maybe together we can figure out what this strange shadow belongs to. It starts out going one direction, then it comes back the other way. It almost looks like a rat or a small animal of some sort, but that still doesn't explain how it appears to instantly teleport across a large gap twice. I guess this could just be some sort of time-lapse editing, but something about the way the shadow moves looks like it was recorded in real time. Let me know if you have any explanation for what's happening here. Have you ever ridden your dirt bike through the forest and wondered what you might encounter amongst the trees? You were probably thinking animals, but the dirt bikers in this video met someone they hadn't anticipated. Published by YouTuber Brappers in January of 2015, the footage shows two dirt bikers stopping on the side of a dirt road in the forest. Suddenly, a white car rounds the corner at top speed and slides to a stop. A man gets out and, for some reason, one of the dirt bikers rushes over to confront him. They start a confrontation as the other dirt biker rides away up the hill. Then, for reasons unknown, he turns around again and rides back to the confrontation to join in. His biker friend is on the ground, and he is then attacked by the man, who they claim is the owner of this year forest. The video cuts out after that. The uploader wrote that the man didn't stop, but it's unclear what happened in the end. If there were injuries or if they just got away without any more trouble, We'll never know. A YouTube channel called Mux9TV goes exploring some extra scary woods in Pakistan late at night when they find some really creepy stuff that leaves them really freaked out. Oh, <laughs> Out of the woods staggers a mysterious figure who refuses to speak for a long time. His eyes look haunting, like he's seen too much in too short a time and has been wandering for days, unable to get it out of his mind. The group does not know how else to help this person, and so they recite some words of faith over him, which works to the extent of scaring him away back to wherever he came from. This doesn't look like a ghost sighting, so much as the aftermath of a person who has had a paranormal experience of their own in the forest and has succumbed to madness in the days since. 
Either way, they're definitely not the type of person you'd want to encounter in the woods, so I bet the group is relieved when he runs away. But at the same time, he could probably use some help. Hopefully, he finds peace. But with that scary stare, I don't see how such a thing is going to be possible. A man has been plagued by a demonic invasion that refuses to give him peace. On February 9th of 2017, he records not one, but two shadow figures ominously standing nearby. Bye. All you can do is hear his nasal breathing as he watches, stunned and trying not to scream. All while this heavy drape breathes in and out all by itself. Watch how it moves. That's not the wind. Besides, it was staying still for the past 4 minutes and 40 seconds prior. And you don't even want to see what's moving on his other window. I'll show you its true form in just a little bit. But for now, let's focus on a couple different incidences first. On July 22nd of that same year, he is turning over a crystal again and again, possibly in hopes that some of its protective energy will rub off on him. Slowly but surely, this bright spot begins to manifest itself before his very eyes, starting at 1 minute and 33 seconds. Hope turns to horror as the omen spins around to reveal a grinning reptile-like face that he is sure is the lord of the underworld himself its stony face shrouded in half-darkness. This ties into a separate incident 12 days earlier on July 10th. That's when he claims to have recorded what he calls a ghoul lurking in the bush outside of his window. When you pause at 3 seconds, it does look like the top half of a skeletal face that soon disappears into the bushes, black eyes and all. That definitely wasn't a normal animal, so what was it? It looks remarkably similar to the face seen in the crystal nearly two weeks later. Sometimes it would show up in the most unlikely of places, like the folds of a piece of fabric as shown here on February 15th, 2017. Do you see the creepy goblin face with a long nose, big ears and open mouth? I can even see an eye. And that's the more friendly of the two faces. This second one looks like two worried eyes and a mouth locked in a permanent scream. There's not as much detail and some of the features are disproportionate and misshapen, but it's still there nonetheless. So now that you've seen the demon's face a few times, I suppose you are ready to see the rest of it and the rest of the original video. This is what he saw crawling into his home that fateful early February day. This upside down creature is in fact one of the many beings who he claims to see on the regular. It's hard to make out exactly what this is, but it's harder still to disprove it and it gives me a bad feeling all around. I tend to believe this video, and all of these sightings for that matter. He claims the quality of the video has somehow sharply deteriorated over time since uploading and that the being at one point looked more detailed and even had horns. I don't see how this is possible for a digital copy to become less clear, but the colors do look muted here and apparently were brighter. So I want to know if you think that this man is legitimately seeing demons around his house, or if this is all happening in his mind. As much as I want to believe this is a delusion like some people think it is, I don't necessarily agree. The problem is I do see a lot of what he claims on video, so there's a good chance it could be true. Somebody's watching you. Posted to Instagram by Henry Cavill. This clip is seemingly just a simple, albeit incredible instructional video in which Superman actor Henry Cavill puts together a gaming PC. But not everything is as it seems. As Henry pieces this monster together, sharing his expertise, the project turns into an all-day event and darkness falls outside. That's when you see this eerie face in the window. In the comments, Memes Like One points it out to Henry, writing, There is a creepy face behind the window. What is that? While well, Cavill has no answer, Miss Nightmare does, suggesting it might be a ghost or a lurker. While well, Danny Maiden thinks it's a Joker painting, what do you think it is? Just an altogether eerie reflection? Or is something or someone lurking on Henry? The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado is thought to be very haunted and was the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining. A YouTuber named Ricky Rock requests the most haunted room, 418, and records himself sleeping. Sounds of movement originate from within the room. 
Then at around 3 a.m., he claims the spirit entered his body. This is the exact moment it happened. He sits up and stares directly at the camera with a blank expression. I guess he could still be half asleep, but many believe that he is under the control of a spirit. And that's when some presence apparently made him speak in tongues. Watch this part and tell me if it sounds like something paranormal or someone having a bad dream. The comment section of this video seems to be evenly split between fake and real. So let me know what you think based on what I was able to show. A girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. The video starts off very lighthearted as Jessie plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my god! Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Oh my god! Apparently, their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shut the f up. <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that. Though we'll never know for sure, it could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. A paranormal explorer in India known as Grey Wolf searches for evidence of the paranormal in the ruins of an abandoned shopping mall that's said to be haunted. On the balcony of the second floor, they find a small room hidden away that gives them a bad feeling. Personal clothing items from many different people seem to be piled in the corner, and maybe even a child's backpack. Grey Wolf continues exploring various abandoned places until they get to the next floor. Tell me what Grey Wolf's friend is pointing out moments before it happens. A loud crash turns them around. Whatever he says, it's enough to make an object clatter to the floor from somewhere deeper inside. They hear footsteps and go to the roof, but no one's there. Then they hear another noise at the bottom. Did something walk past them on the stairs? They go down to investigate and find the place is empty, or so they think. Hello? A ghostly voice calls from somewhere unseen. He turns to the adjacent room, but I heard it from the woods, kind of at where they were pointing before. When they look out the window, a ghost or something bangs loudly, and then another loud crash before a witch's laughter fills the otherwise empty room. <laughs> they claim to hear a chant, and at that exact moment, a mysterious and unexpected light pierces the dark room. 
Whatever it is, it seems to like playing on the stairs. An animal runs away, probably a cat from the looks of it, but that couldn't have been what made the very human voices they heard earlier. Many people suspect that this was a spirit called a djinn, who according to legends can take the shape of animals at will. Dennis Allen takes an inner tube down the local creek. It's something he's done often before, but this time it's raining and the currents are stronger than he has ever seen. Still, Dennis is confident in his abilities and bravely sets forward. The ride starts out gentle enough but soon picks up speed as he moves into more open waters. Soon he really begins to regret not bringing a paddle, as he is carried through low-hanging branches and other thorny obstacles. He manages to keep his balance for about five minutes, until it becomes apparent that he can no longer hold on. Oh shoot, this is dangerous. <laughs> he is carried downstream and eventually clings to a bridge while water rushes beneath him. Dennis seems to be trying to stay calm, but I can detect some fear in his voice, perhaps more than he is meant to let on. He quickly realizes pulling himself out of the water is going to be a lot harder than he initially thought. Oh, this was something stupid. Oh shoot. Dennis slowly works his way to the shallow end, without letting go and eventually he climbs out with the help of a nearby bridge pole. Looking down, you can see he was clearly not exaggerating the danger. The current is strong enough to pull a full-grown man under. A YouTuber named More Bad Ideas is riding his bike late at night. He normally would never go out at this odd hour, but he just got home from vacation and he just can't wait until the morning breaks to ride again. It's a decision that he will soon regret. He's popping wheelies down empty streets and old parking lots when he comes across a random golf ball sticking out from a sewer grate. He's amused and throws it around for a bit. It lands in some grass next to something much weirder, a camcorder laying in a wet plastic bag. The camera still has a memory card and some battery life so he curiously presses play. Yo. What the f*** is this? Dude, are you serious right now? Yo, is that a f knife with blood? In case you couldn't see the screen clearly, the video shows a woman tied to a chair, whimpering. Suddenly, a car puts its high beams on and floors it towards him. He hops on his bike and narrowly gets away. He sees the person chasing him one more time, a short while later, and then he barely escapes again. A group of Bigfoot hunters are searching for clues deep in the woods when they come across something ominous glowing in the clear night sky. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. See? Oh. Three. And in a different position. Three orbs appear to form a mysterious triangular pattern off in the distance. Every once in a while, the light on top gets extremely bright and then fades away. They can't figure out what these lights are, and I'm not quite sure either. Tell me if you think this was an alien sighting, or maybe even some sort of experimental aircraft. All I know is that if these bizarre lights really are a regular occurrence around these woods, then maybe the idea of Bigfoot isn't so far-fetched after all. We've all been there. It's a stormy night. Every sound in the house is an evil entity vying for your soul. That must have been what this man was feeling when he saw this happen in his dining room on a stormy night. The clip shows a man enter his dining room, which appears completely normal. Every chair in place, he enters his laundry room, then casts the camera down the stairs. It appears that something must have happened to cause him to search his house. He says hello down the stairs. Is someone or something there? He decides to go into his basement to investigate. The wooden steps are incredibly rickety. As he's nearing the bottom, a terrifying racket is heard upstairs. He runs for his life, only to find his kitchen chairs precariously stacked up, balanced one on top of the other. The dining room light is swinging around. The shot is still, 
As the man crosses the room and stands frozen in fear at this ominous sight, the overhead light continues to swing, and nothing is there. There's something especially uneasy about the stacking of this man's furniture. Part of that uneasiness comes from the fact that no human could have done this particular building job in the short period of time that the man was away. Who do you think did it? Or what? A YouTube channel called Nathan's Junction goes exploring at an abandoned house in Nepal. One with a twist. This is where his grandfather used to live until he succumbed to medical problems, at which point this place in the woods became haunted. It's a long and treacherous walk through the forest to get there. A fallen tree is the only way to cross the river, and he keeps thinking something is behind him multiple times. The house is old and sinking and taken over by bats long ago. He sets up a second camera to catch any activity outside of the house and then he steps inside. <laughs> At the exact moment Nathan thinks he hears something moving nearby, the outside camera detects the movement of a shadowy figure, a ghost in the window. Could this be his grandfather coming to say hello? <laughs> After that, Nathan begins hearing strange noises that you never want to hear coming from the woods. He knows he isn't alone at this point and goes outside to check the second camera for paranormal evidence. Some kind of object falls over by itself from deeper inside the house. Almost like the ghost of his grandfather doesn't want him to leave just yet. Or maybe the bats knock something over. Either way, the timing is creepy. Nathan senses something above and shines his flashlight at the roof. He doesn't see anything, and I'm sure you don't either, but keep watching this area because you will. He inverts the colors with a special filter, and within the negative image you'll see a head pop up at 25 minutes and 52 seconds, and then something runs across the roof. He is in some scary woods, so this could have just been a wild animal, but considering this is the final resting place of his grandfather, it could be his long lost relative watching him leave. Tell me what you think he caught on camera that night. Remember that guy who was caught on a ring doorbell video licking someone's doorbell? Well, we've just found his soulmate. Posted in December of 2017, the footage shows a young blonde woman approach the doorbell. At first, it appears as if it was provoked by a dare. The woman walks up to the doorbell, holds up her hand strangely, as though she knows she's on candid camera, and then looks over to her right, as if looking at someone out of frame. But then she walks back, just standing awkwardly, looking around at random, before approaching the door again. Is she waiting for someone to answer? Maybe. But what she does while waiting is not normal. The woman opens her mouth wide, moving closer to the camera, and you can actually hear her bite. She then backs away again, as though nothing happened, appears to be waiting for a moment, then starts to do this. Well, it's all well and good to get your daily exercise in. Doing that on someone's doorstep late at night after biting their security camera seems a little out of it. Don't you agree? What is the number one destination to dispose of an object that's ended a life? In a river, of course. Posted to TikTok by Julian Stevens. This scary video leaves us wondering if that's exactly what happened here. The TikToker spotted a blade at the bottom of the waterway. Zooming in, you can see it's clearly a large kitchen blade. Zooming out again, you can see it's clearly in the middle of a creepy wooded area. Many in the comments suggest calling the cops. That seems like a fair assessment to me. Roofers in Miami, Florida have a creepy encounter with some scary creatures hiding among us. One of them removes his shingle and has only seconds to get away from these creepy creatures of the night caught on camera. 
After some more investigating, they discovered to their horror that the bats are not coming from a hole in the house, but are rather nestled under each shingle by the dozens. Suddenly, the removal job has become a lot more complicated and beyond creepy as they have to pry open each area without getting in the way of awakening bats. At 8 minutes and 15 seconds, bats are flying into this guy's face and threatening to knock him off balance. Eventually, it looks like they've gotten rid of them all, but just knowing that I'm one shingle away from a face full of bats would probably be scary enough to make me find another company to work for and possibly another career altogether. This four-part TikTok series is a journey. Posted by Breadcrumb and Beaver's Pit, the TikToker was working her shift when she spotted something creepy between a crack in the ceiling tiles. It looks like an old man's face or a shrunken head. So I was staring at my ceiling right at work and then like I see this like right and I go over here. In the second video, the TikToker reveals the outside of this building. She says part of the building was a school from the 1920s. She enters the kitchen. The face thing is still exactly where it was last time. Seemingly peering through the cracks, she tries to lift the ceiling tile using a broom. At this point, she thinks it's either insulation or a rope. Here's the legendary area. It's still there. It's chilling. Villain. Next video sees her climbing up a stepladder to investigate. After lifting the tile, you don't really see the face thing, but you do see that there's a whole other room up there. In the last video, the mystery is solved. Lifting the ceiling tile, you can see what the object is. As the OP suggested earlier, a rope. What was it used for? The OP's theory is an old school bell. Although you may think the saga is over, some in the comments are seeing and hearing new mysteries. One hears something crying in this last clip, and some even claim to see a new person peering down at her. I am not personally seeing or hearing any of that, so we'll just stick with the rope. Mystery solved. Steve Ronan knows firsthand how scary randonauting can be and says the Randonautica app is not to be taken lightly based on his experiences. He and Josh tell Randonautica that they want to manifest something dark and twisted in their exact words and let the app tell them where to explore. Through the woods is where they are told to go. A mysterious light in the woods leads them to a pentagram painted on a tree, a symbol that's as dark and twisted as it gets and it's only the beginning. Randonautica takes them to an abandoned house, and the same unexplained light is right there with them. It remains the same size no matter how close they get. The light takes them to the backyard where it goes behind an object at 16 minutes and 50 seconds, so it's not coming from their equipment at all. Also, while they are exploring the area, this ghostly figure appears in the screen window. Tell me if you see it. It looks kind of like a face with two hands. While exploring the abandoned house, they see the face of another ghost in the hallway. At 21 minutes and 29 seconds, it's in front of the railing and looking down. That's when they hear the scariest sounds of all. We were using an app called <laughs> Police calling for them to come out and explain themselves. A YouTuber named Alex Hayes and his friends find a cool looking stone perch overlooking the beach below. The good weather has them in high spirits and it isn't long before they are playing around near the ledge. Alex wants to impress everyone with a headstand, but it doesn't exactly work out as planned. Holy sh- oh. Don't do that to me, Alex. Oh my goodness. Holy sh- oh. Pause here and you'll see how close Alex was to tumbling over. He barely catches himself with his right hand, and if his right leg went back any further, then he would have definitely lost his balance. Lalo Escalante is a Mexican paranormal investigator. Relatively new to YouTube, Escalante started his channel in October 2019. At the beginning of December 2020, Lalo and his team investigated an abandoned house in Culiacan, Mexico. Right at the beginning of this video, a couple of orbs can 
be spotted as the camera is showing the exterior. While they could be dismissed as dust particles, other such specks can be seen all around. The orbs in question stand out and do not resemble the other dust specks seen. Furthermore, there's no distinguishing features you would see on an insect such as wings. From this common and tame example of paranormal phenomenon, the video escalates rather quickly. Escalante is joined on this investigation by friends David Apino and Luis Fernando. Right from the get-go, Apino appears to be in a state of discomfort. He frequently clutches at his stomach and coughs, causing concern amongst the others. <laughs> Despite him claiming to be all right, the others seem unconvinced, and soon Apino is hardly able to walk. His companions help him to a place where he can have a seat, and he stumbles as he is being led. Once they get him seated, they attempt to compose themselves when Escalante hears a noise, startling him. <laughs> After calling out Ola, the cameraman spots a figure in a white shirt calmly walking from right to left in the background. The team quickly goes to investigate and check to see if there may be another person in the building. Entering a courtyard, they find nobody there and no sign of where the figure has gone. As they attempt to determine what they saw, their focus is broken by a strange high pitch from above them. <laughs> It is difficult to fully analyze what the noise might be as Escalante is speaking when it happens, but on closer inspection, it sounds either to be a woman giving out a quick scream sound or the squeaking of a door or other inanimate object against either the ground or wall. Seconds later, they hear a similar noise and this time clearly sounds like a whimper. <laughs> As they decide to re-enter the building, they hear another sound, this time like a woman either crying or laughing. <laughs> By this point, they feel they are not alone and quickly duck back inside. Throughout this time, Apino continues to show signs of distress, coughing and rubbing his stomach and chest. Clearly, something is affecting him. On their way inside, they discover some evidence the place is used by vagrants, trash all over and discarded clothing. This does lead to the possibility of whatever they saw and heard could be an actual person rather than paranormal, but this doesn't make the ordeal any less scary. People can be unpredictable, and it's possible whoever may be residing there could want to protect something they have stored there. The trio soon ascends to the top floor where they spot yet another terrifying presence. Below them, in the courtyard, they spotted the figure and heard the noises. They again see something staring at them. It then quickly ducks behind a wall, out of sight. They all rush down to investigate, but whatever was there has vanished. As they return to the courtyard, a loud crash is heard next to them. And even worse, a Pino appears to black out. His face has gone completely red and he is out cold. Concerned for their friend's well being, the team abandons their investigation and rushes Apino back to their car. At this point, the video ends, but captions after state Apino regained consciousness and recovered quickly. Clearly, something had affected him in the place. They never found what was spying on them, but it is safe to say it didn't want them there and definitely succeeded in sending them hightailing it back to safety. Time to break out the sage again. Posted to TikTok by Ratliff Wife, this ring security footage was captured at around 9.30 p.m. in March of 2022. The video shows the front porch of a home. After a moment, a dark shadow moves across the camera. The shadow reappears several times over 
over the course of a minute. Several bugs appear in the clip, but they are clear. Nothing looks like this shadow. The uploader says their dog was also growling in the room at the time this video was captured. Did it sense something? Some in the comments think so. With Carolyn Mulhall writing, Pets know. Better start praying. And it's true that many people swear that pets seem to have an easier time seeing the paranormal than humans. Two scientists poke and prod at the body of a short, round-bellied humanoid with sharp features and a wide frown. They seem to follow a number of scientific procedures and pull out internal organs one at a time, weighing them on what I think is an old scale. The full video of this procedure is not for the squeamish. Everything looks very clinical, so I think this video has a good chance of being real. A ghost hunter named Jay goes exploring an infamously haunted place known as the Yellow House. The paranormal activity begins minutes into the investigation. Anyone that's residing in this house, I come in peace. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm gonna get the EMF meter up just so I know kind of what's going on around here. Oh. How you doing? Do you remember me from the other night? We're off to a good start. Well, I will keep an eye on this as we walk around. Keep stepping on crap though. Man, I can feel people just walking around behind me. This is so, so much more active than it was the other night. I swear I keep hearing somebody moving around. It's freaking me out. There was nobody in here when I walked around earlier. Now I have been here for a little bit. He crosses back through the kitchen. Watch the sound levels. Okay. So maybe we disproved that one. I still hear somebody else. Angry. Angry? Are you trying to make me angry? No. Notice how the ghost says the word angry just outside of a room with a bunch of holes punched in the wall. Something is in here. I swear I'm being followed. I swear something is walking around behind me, messing with me, and then going around and <sighs> Part of Jay wants to leave, but this is the best paranormal evidence he's ever gotten, so he swallows his fear and sets up one last experiment using his final piece of equipment. You know what? I actually want to try some... We were getting that stick figure in this hallway like I was seeing there in this closet. I want to see if... Always just going off without look, 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 look. Thank you for making that ball go off. 
He is not moving at all. It's not the floor shaking from his steps. He goes back to the kitchen where he's gotten the most activity. I know you guys had, to, I hope this picked that up. It sounded like somebody just tapped on the wall. Keeps wanting me to go back there, but I'm, I'm done. And if you thought that video was creepy, look what happened the month prior when he went exploring a place known only as the Haunted Doll House. It's a lot of energy in here. I feel it. I, every time wow. talk to me, come on. It's crazy. He sweeps the room for activity and detects the word spirit when facing the doll. Next, they get a steady indication of EMF activity on the toy. They determine the spirit is named Josh and decide to confirm their findings with a second piece of paranormal equipment. Can you light the REM pot up again? It's the green. Can you light up the blue? Light up the blue or the purple. Oh, I bet it is. That's the name I got in that room. Really? Hi, Joshua. Is that Morse code? Yeah, I don't know. Is that your friend, Josh? I've never seen one of these things go well, this crazy no, for this long. It's definitely, definitely. I, it's spirits of children. I can feel that Dead. already. Dead. They hold an EVP session, and while they don't pick up any distinct voices, a final creepy moment does happen. If you can't see a light, I'm going to the light. While persuading the spirit to detach itself from the doll, an orb just so happens to go past the light and into her. This spirit is either finally being released or transferring itself to a new living host. Exorcist Pierre Dulong is a trusted member of French society. In this video clip, a 19-year-old hairdresser is seen being exorcised of a demon. This took place in Gers, began with a pendulum stroke, through which Dulong detected the woman's possession. She screamed, growled, grunted, spit, convulsed, and foamed at the mouth. She also spoke in Spanish, not her mother tongue. Her eyes rolled back in her head as she shook and convulsed. Although the demon fought it the whole way, in the end, the good one. The woman finished with a calm smile and feeling at ease, but sometimes even Dulong can't rid a person of this. He says honesty is the foundation of his reputation, admitting, when I cannot do anything, I announce it right away. Hopefully, for the sake of the possessed, this is rarely the case. Two creepy videos show how a normal looking workplace break room is actually haunted when objects start moving on their own. The object looks like it's being pulled with a string, but then it falls over in the opposite direction like a ghost pushes it. The second creepy video, taken on a different day, shows a co-worker losing his mind when an apparent ghost moves more objects on their own. The hidden camera angle looks like this scary video could be a prank, like someone might have been making the objects move off camera in both videos. It's creepy though because according to them, no one else was there. What do you think about the scary things they've caught on tape? Is it paranormal? A ghost sighting in Jacksonville, Florida leaves one man certain he has evidence of the paranormal. It's not a f tree. What the f 
A strangely human-shaped figure emits a strange glow. It could be pretty much anything from this far away. Approaching headlights against a tree comes to mind, but he's adamant that it's not a tree. He's too scared to drive any closer, so the video ends. I can't be the only one who wishes he would have gotten closer, but I understand why he wanted to get the heck out of there. 99% of us would have done the same, and if not, then I guess you're braver than most. YouTuber Gregor Wilk braves one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin in this spooky video. One of the most interesting finds he has there is this strange orb flickering in the darkness. Watch closely. In another shot, he captures a ghostly apparition. Watch to the left amongst the trees. Here's a closer look. Some in the comments say they've had a similar experience at Sanitarium Hill. Well, from this distance, I'd say you can't really tell if this is a ghost or not. This was filmed at around 2 a.m., so the idea that someone was out walking in the darkness of night is pretty creepy in and of itself. This video shows a phenomenon known as angel hair, in which strands of silk-like threads fall to the ground for several hours at a time. Scientists have tried to explain this as certain species of spiders migrating, though I don't see any spiders in this video at all. Stranger still, angel hair has been reported falling in areas that are freezing and have snow. If this really is due to spiders, then shouldn't there be activity in colder areas? A YouTuber named Breaking the Shell goes exploring a 150-year-old home in search of the paranormal, and the paranormal is what they find. Shadow figures and footsteps have been reported by previous ghost hunters. But that's nothing compared to the paranormal evidence you're about to see. They're not even exploring inside of the house yet and the investigation is already getting spooky. At 40 seconds, a mysterious, possibly paranormal white light appears in the window of the room above them. And before you say that their light is hitting a mirror or something, explain how at 45 seconds the light seemingly gets even brighter when the ghost hunter faces the opposite way. One of the things they notice is a bricked up fireplace where someone seems to have busted out, along with a door that has a padlock. There's another doorway with firewood in front of it that's been boarded up and painted over. I feel like somebody could have been kept in here against their will. That's weird. After exploring the house some more, they think they hear footsteps like other ghost hunters have reported, and I think it might be happening over them in the room where the mysterious light was. They're like, it walked past that window like some people. They go outside, and at 23 minutes and 7 seconds, their camera gets blurry, like it's trying to focus on a ghost nearby. Then we see the weird, mystifying light again, in front of them this time, and there's nothing but darkness, so I don't think it's light from their camera caught on tape. No joke, I saw a lot right there. But here's the creepiest paranormal evidence of all. At 13 minutes while exploring the top floor, they see this blue blanket. It looks flat at first, but the more you look at it, the more it looks like the ghostly form of a child seems to appear under the blanket. Holy cow, this is terrifying. Now this has to be paranormal. A disturbing shadow is settling over this room. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Kenton Bryant's music writes, My buddy had his motion sensor go off for this, 
and never goes off unless his dog walks in front of the camera. The only problem? The dog was locked in the bedroom at the time. This was captured on his friend's wise security camera in February of 2020. The video shows a darkened room with a light source at one end. A dark shadow sweeps into view, covering the light source briefly before disappearing from sight. The strangest part about this is that the shadow seems not to touch the ground. Is it flying? Redditor Gucci the God says that it could be lights from a passing car, coupled with the low light capture of the camera. But the OP nixes this idea, saying there's no window there and the driveway is private. Some in the comments think this is legit paranormal footage. This really looks like a shadow figure to me. What do you think? Any other explanations? Bugs are awful on their own, but swarms of them. What a nightmare. Published to YouTube in June of 2018, Phelan Fairchild writes that mayflies swarm in from the lake every year and have to be snowplowed off roads and walkways. The video shows Fairchild's front desk absolutely littered with the bugs. At first you think they're a pile of fall leaves or other debris, but upon closer inspection, you can see as Fairchild points out, hundreds of thousands of bugs all over the place. They're on the deck floor, on the front door, on the window, and on the entire exterior of this poor woman's house. Fairchild notes that the spiders are having a heyday with this. You can't look away from this creepy sight. Fairchild says that it stinks and will be hard to clean up. It's not noted where she lives, but mayflies do appear near fresh water and are signs of a healthy water ecosystem. Swarms like this one can last for up to a month. Seems like a summer holiday abroad is in order. A YouTuber named Godiva calls this a bizarre sighting caught on camera, and he's definitely right. The slow-moving shadow figure grows larger as it extends over this house. It's all caught on their home CCTV system, and it's a creepy moment for sure, but tell me if it's a formless shadow person or some sort of insect. A child is quietly doing homework at the living room coffee table, but something in the room doesn't want to keep the peace. This creepy clip was published by Adit and Anika in May of 2021. According to the video's timestamp, the footage was originally captured nearly two decades ago at around 1.40 p.m. on April 13, 2001. A child is writing, a cupboard door on the entertainment center flies open. The little girl doesn't seem too rattled by it. Perhaps she is used to strange poltergeist activity in her home. She walks calmly over to shut it and sits back down to her homework, but the energy in the room isn't done harassing her. Two of the doors pop open simultaneously. One of them closes on its own, while the girl closes the other. Again, she doesn't appear surprised by the incident, and studiously heads back over to return to her work. That's when the poltergeist decides to shock her once and for all. The coffee table moves on its own, rolling across the floor. At this, the girl screams and races out of the room. For the ghost, mission accomplished. At least, she'll have a real excuse for not finishing her homework. Everyone knows the woods are a witch's favorite haunt. YouTuber the Ghost Hunter captured this witch on camera at around 11 p.m. First, they hear a terrible scream. They continue to hear these strange noises. and as they carry around a ring of fire, they hear more. The strange sounds continue. But they don't see anything. Hey, 
हमारा लाइट ही रुक जा रहा है it is definitely not an animal. But remains out of sight. Well, I'm not sure that's a witch. As the channel suggests, I do think they have something paranormal on their hands. A demon? A skinwalker? Who knows? All I know is I wouldn't want to hear this in the middle of the woods at night. Well, unknown sewer creatures are certainly scary. Here's one real life known creature you certainly wouldn't want to run into while peering into the sewage drain behind your home. Lou Cam published this skin crawlingly creepy video in December of 2016. He seems to be lying right on the road in front of his home, where he tells his audience that he thinks he has an alligator in his sewer. It's pretty clear that he's telling the truth. As soon as the camera is angled into the darkness, sure enough a shot into the depths below, spies a pair of alligator eyes, and the undeniable view of the scaly monster just lurking there. A bright green toy ball inches in front of its chompers. This is no laughing matter. Although I doubt you were laughing at the sight of that frightening creature in the first place. To put this in perspective, an average adult American alligator is 13 feet long and 790 pounds. While they are generally timid around humans, they will attack and have been known to take people's lives. Just recently, a Florida woman disappeared while out walking her dogs and her arm was found in the stomach of a massive 12-foot alligator who called a nearby swamp home. Alligators attack large prey by clamping down on it and dragging it into the water to drown it. Doesn't sound like a pleasant way to pass away. I'd advise Lou to get off the road and away from the sewer before it's too late. If you're out paddle boarding, watch your sea legs. Published in April of 2022, YBS Youngbloods writes, a humbling reminder for myself that it's their ocean and I'm just a visitor. The paddle boarder is at first enamored with a giant sea turtle. But soon that excitement turns to panic. A huge shark is seen making his way over and passes below the man's board. When the shark does this, the last place you'd want to be right now is in the water. Well, many in the comments are panicking. Commenter Jethro X has a different perspective. He writes, For anyone wondering, this is just how we have fun in Australia. This video was submitted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit by sailorgirl06. She writes, I'm a single mom. Last year my son and I were working on his Rube Goldberg machine. I was recording. Second time I aimed the camera toward the dining room. A face appeared on the microwave. It looks a lot like me and we get goosebumps every time we think about it. The face can be seen two seconds from the end on the turquoise microwave in the back. Can you see what she's talking about? I'll slow down the footage here for a second look. Can you see it? If so, then I think this place is haunted. A while back, we analyzed a scary video posted by this individual, and it seems like his house hasn't gotten any less haunted since then. If anything, the paranormal activity has moved on to his daughter. Let's try to make sense of this scary CCTV footage. Something rolls the ball at her. She rolls the ball back and it stops abruptly like somebody caught it. Please tell me it is a remote control ball because otherwise it looks like their child has attracted a paranormal pal. Or maybe, as unlikely as it sounds, she is manipulating the object somehow. 
I don't know what this is, but it's really bizarre and I can't stop thinking about it. CCTV footage often captures the unexplainable, posted to YouTube by UFO Mania in May of 2018, and originally from FUMON, a ring security camera caught a strange flying entity on camera. The unknown entity shoots onto the screen, sparking in the air before settling in a glowing fuzz at the bottom of the frame. It hovers there, floating, before jolting upwards and out of sight. YouTuber Trish Robinson writes, One world has many creations in it. We simply don't understand them. Most will never be known by the masses. Is this just one of those many creations we don't understand? Nevertheless, this footage raises multiple questions I wish we had additional evidence to answer. This girl hears a loud commotion in her sister's room and grows concerned. When she goes to check on her sibling, something huge hits the ground on the other side. Then the door to her sister's room seems to close all by itself. The scared girl tries to stand outside of the room for some time and simply listens. Finally, she musters enough courage to try again, and this is what she sees waiting for her. Her sister sits stiffly in bed staring ahead while creepy music plays from nowhere. Her room is completely wrecked and she does not respond or say anything at all. Well, I guess this video could be some sort of behavioral problem or even a prank. My gut instinct tells me that this was most likely a real possession. When Reactor 4 burst at Chernobyl in 1986, a 10 kilometer exclusion zone was formed and thereafter was increased to 30 kilometers. The initial steam blast resulted in two passed away, while a further 28 passed within months of exposure. These numbers do not even touch upon the total passing toll caused by radiation, and they also don't touch upon the mutations in humans or animals in the area. Which brings us to this footage published in March of 2014. The uploader states that the video is filmed at Chernobyl Power Plant. A close-up of an animal in the area appears to show a headless form on four legs running across the railroad tracks. It almost looks like a headless deer. Some in the comments say that it looks like a large deer with the face of a rabbit, or a moose with a twisted neck, and still others say the creature appears as though its neck is deformed and bending towards the opposite side. Mutant or not, kind of makes you wonder what other nightmare creatures are lurking in the area. A British YouTuber named Joe Weller learns from his friend Elliot of a haunted schoolhouse nearby that was built in the 1800s. They agree to go in the middle of the night to make it all the more legitimate and scary. This place is abandoned and yet there's a black gap where the curtain's been particularly drawn back, just enough for someone to peek through. Or maybe this is a shadow person leaning out. Joe wants to turn around before the sight of barbed wire, but Elliot convinces him to jump over and go inside. Someone must have really wanted to keep people out of here, or maybe it's to keep something contained within. They walk around the back way and Ivy is creeping along the walls, so nobody lives here. But wait, someone's at the window, a pale ghost girl. While well, over a dozen people see her, can you? And when he shines his light on it, it's gone. Randy Doss claims to live in a haunted house and offers this video evidence for proof. I dare you to slam that door. <laughs> they start recording this video after the door opens all by itself, at which point they try to get the spirit to do something else. And with that said, the ghost seemingly takes up the challenge. Watch the crack in the door and you'll see there's absolutely nobody on the other side. No. Just for the record, it's only Nick and I here. Just when the door almost slams shut, this happens. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Whoa. The obvious answer is that there is a child standing on the other side of the door, but look again. There appears to be nothing more than an empty sleeve, and more importantly, it doesn't make contact with the door at all. 
This makes me think that whatever forced the door open could have also wrestled the nearby jacket too. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.